looks about right. All right, and we're in. And if you're watching this, it is now 2020. So happy new year. I hope you had a good one. I hope you had a great start to the new year, this 2020. And I'm sure a lot of you have got some new year's resolutions. I'm sure some of you don't really care. And some of you have got some new goals, but deep down we all wanna achieve bigger and better things. And this is the truth. And why not? I mean, without progress, what is life in general? Without progress in any area, well, it gets quite boring really, doesn't it? Um, if you started a job or you learned a skill and someone said, that is as skillful as you'll ever be in this given thing or in this job, this is as far as you'll ever go, this is as much as you'll ever do, you probably wouldn't wanna do it. It wouldn't be very motivating. So progress is one of the roots, if you like, of happiness, fulfillment, joy, success, etc. But in this video, I want to give you my three biggest tips, pointers, pieces of advice, tools, if you will, that are going to help you succeed in 2020 because they've helped me. But more importantly, they've helped numerous hundreds, thousands of other successful people, like actual successful people. And when I say success, as always, I define that in a holistic way of it's not just monetary. I'm talking about health, I'm talking about relationships, I'm talking about well-being, etc. So when we talk about success, or when I re refer to success, I refer to it as a three-dimensional or multifaceted plane rather than just very one-dimensional. And oh, this person just got a lot of money. Mm, that helps, but it's not the be-all and end-all, and it's not everything. Money will come with everything else when you increase success in all areas of your life. So my biggest three tips for all of you, my biggest three takeaways that have helped me achieve the most in life to date and also many others. And if it's good for them, it's good for me, it's good for you, right? But you will also take and tailor your um, own path if you like. But if the formula is there, do not try and reinvent the wheel. Okay, so the biggest three things that have helped me and that are proven to work because if everyone does them or all this, all these successful people do them, you start to see this trend, you know, like, okay, well, they all do sort of this, this and this, but they all seem to do these things. So the first thing is get yourself one of these suckers, a journal. Nice and simple. You don't have to spend a lot of money, okay? I've done a podcast. Uh, no, I have done many podcasts, but I've done a vlog on my self-journal, the best self-journal. That's how I got started with this, and now I've just tailored it and made it my own. They're cheap. They're effective. You can get them from Office Works. You can get them from anywhere around the world. So cheap stationery shop. Hell, you can just use a notepad, whatever it is. Get yourself a journal, okay? Have a plan. Have a plan. Set goals and set goals daily. Small, actionable tasks. I would recommend no more than three. The most important things that you need to do, objectives for that day, okay? Take action on it, take action on it daily. Make sure it's in front of you, make sure it's on your desk, okay? Or somewhere that you're gonna be able to see and read it every single day. Now, personally, this is completely up to you just to elaborate on the journal. What do you wanna do? How do you wanna make it work? Well. Generally, what you want to have is you want to have your main goals, okay, and then you want to break that down. So you'll have, for example, your really big goals, and it might be over a year, over 12 weeks, and you break them down into weekly and daily goals. So you start with the end in mind, and then you reverse engineer it. Yes, you've heard it before. It works, okay? But you just have to do it. A lot of you will be resistant. You'll procrastinate. You'll have disbelief, as I did. But if you stick to it, it will work, I'm telling you. And you might be quite surprised at how much progress and how well it works once you implement, have a little bit of belief, have a bit of faith, and then apply it, take action on it, and then you'll get more adherence and more belief the more results you see. So I do this daily. I have, the way I, I set my day up is I have you know the day, I have gratitude and am what I'm thankful for in the morning. I have my three main targets or objectives for that day. I have the actual day planned out. So just bullet points of what I want to achieve and how my day is going to look. At the end of the day, I review this and put down my biggest lessons learned, my wins for the day, and then also my evening gratitude. So what I'm grateful for that evening. And I also have a quote, which is on the opposite side of the page, which are my fearless thoughts, which for those of you who follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, 
go follow me now, fearless underscore training underscore. Uh, the fearless thoughts and the quotes for the day, which I like to share with people, which are thought provoking and often inspiring and can elicit or give you that bit of a kick in the right direction. So that would be my first tip, invaluable compared to what you will actually spend and quite frankly, priceless. So go and get yourself a journal right now. As soon as you've watched this video, finish it first, like, comment, subscribe, you know the routine. Okay, the second thing is get up early. Bit of a caveat to this, everyone's slightly different. Um, I've mentioned the book, uh, Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker a couple of times throughout these vlogs. And I'm really adamant about it because it pretty much explains the importance of sleep. Um, with a factual evidence-based background and use real life examples as well. Now, we are chronologically all different. So some of us are not early birds, okay, or morning larks. Some of us sort of like to stay up a little bit later. Regardless, it doesn't matter. Everyone has a morning, whether that is 5 a.m. or whether that is 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 noon, okay? Find out what your chronotype is, meaning what are you more bespoke to? You'll either be really early semi-early, like most people, okay, 6, six or 7 a.m., or you'll be the, the evening owl, which is quite rare, but, it, but it, is, it does exist, which is, you know, your 10, 11, 12 noon sort of rising people. But that first six hours of the day is when you have the most focus and the most clarity. It's your hours of power, if you will. And you can see this illustrated in many successful entrepreneurs and business owners. The first six hours of the day is where they get the most important shit done. And there's a reason for that because you do have a finite amount of willpower. This is proven and brain power. This is why people like Steve Jobs and a lot of intelligent people knew that I want to make less decisions. I want to make the path to resistance less easy. Hence why they chose the same outfits, why they had daily routines and habits and all of these little structures and systems and processes to help them streamline that process to success to make it more synergistic so getting up early winning the day getting into those tasks don't prolong it don't put it off get straight into it get get what you need to do done because the more the day goes on the less energy you have the less brain power you have the more complacent you become and you end up not doing those tasks it's also quite refreshing when you complete those tasks because it means whatever happens for the rest of the day is just cream right so you get some more stuff done great you've achieved it whatever it might be etc etc so you continually build on that so start with the end in mind win the day get up early or even if you get up late whenever you get up get your shit done straight away for six hours six hours of the day be selfish and you're probably thinking, well, I've got to work. It's all right for you. Um, get up earlier. Make the time. You've got to do it. Okay? So if you work at 9, if you work at 10, 11, whatever it is, get up early. Figure it out. If you want to get ahead, you've got to do it. It's non-negotiable. A third point is read daily. If you would have said to me when I was younger, uh, you would be someone who reads a lot of books, I would have said no. That's not me. <laughs> now, I'm not, um, I wouldn't consider myself the bookworm, but I read a lot now. I read a lot and I, I read uh, a lot of books um, based around knowledge, based around other people who inspire me, successful people, biographies and whatnot, self-help books. Um, take them all with a grain of salt, sure. Uh, but once again, read. You. It will improve your vocabulary. It will improve your uh, communication skills, your ability to process thoughts. It will open your mind. And you will also learn a lot of valuable knowledge. Books are the source of a lot of knowledge. Most things have been done and they're already written down. Um, this is just one that I'm currently reading, Tools of the Titans by Tim Ferriss. A lot of you go-getters will know this man. He is very much on the forefront of progress on entrepreneurship. And uh, in this book, uh, it talks about all the tactics, routines, uh, and habits and behaviors of successful people. So once again, you'll see a lot of things in there that will resonate with some of the things I've said, but also what successful people do. You'll notice trends. But important to note that not everything's going to work for you. It's not about trying to apply everything because you'll end up getting nowhere. It's about taking the things that actually work, the foundations, the framework, if you like, and then filling it out and making it more bespoke to your lifestyle, your habits, your behaviors, your preferences, etc. So read, read daily. Do as much as you can, okay? 30 minutes to an hour. Start with five minutes. Hell, start with a page, okay? Dedicate that time. 
do some in the morning, do some in the evening. I like to do both just before I go to bed. The brain's open in terms of subliminal. It'll go in the subconscious mind. It's a nice way to relax and wind down as well without the electronics. And also I do more heavy educational reading in the first part of the day, okay? So read daily, constantly be re-educating yourself and upskilling and filling your brain with sound knowledge. Take what works, forget the rest, continue, rinse, repeat, recycle, done. So. 2020, this year, you wanna succeed, you wanna get better. It's not a quick fix, it starts now. It'll be 2021 soon, so the best time is always now. It's never this date, that day, this event. It is right now, always, okay? Take motherfucking action. So, first point, okay, of my tips is get yourself a journal. Second point is get up early or win the morning and win the day. And the third one is read daily, always upscale and educate yourself. And they are my top three tips, personally from experience and recommendation for you to get ahead and have the best 2020 to date, the best new year. So as always guys, thanks for watching. If you've liked the video, like the goddamn video, press the subscribe button, it's the big red button just under this video, and comment if you've got anything positive to say or you wanna hear and see something specifically, and I will endeavor to do my best. Thank you for all your support, guys, and as always, I will see you very soon, and in the meantime, stay fearless.